it's been one year since this bundle of joy was born. Then Google was like, nah, this one ain't good enough. So they tried for another kid. Then boom, Pixel 7a was born. And then this turned into the child that Google would very publicly say that it ain't good enough for nobody. But I'm gonna tell you why it is, maybe. So I introduced y'all the red-headed stepchild of the Google family, and I'm gonna tell y'all why it ain't the red-headed stepchild. So this thing been out for a little bit, right? They got more mature, we got the Pixel 7a out now, we got more updates, so we got a feeling for it. I did a video on this first A54, so if you wanna go and check that out, links down below or the invitation up there. So they don't even sell this thing at the Google website no more, so if you wanna buy this, you gotta look at eBay or something like that, or no cap, they might even sell it at Best Buy, so you can check there too. But yeah, retail this thing ran for 450, and if you look at this thing now with the Pixel 7a, it ran for like 500. But yeah, bro, look around this thing real quick. So if you look around here, it's all plastic, it ain't no metal or nothing like like that now the camera is glass but at the same time this ain't no metal or nothing like that at the same time though it still feel decent when i pick this up it don't really feel cheap like i mean i guess you can kind of actually no you can't even see that no it feel pretty decent i literally remember when this phone came out folks mistaking it for being glass and then they realized it was plastic so if that don't tell you something then i don't know but yeah the feel and everything it definitely feel decent so i'm loving this for sure but you know we gotta talk about it what that camera do I mean, come on, bro, it's a Pixel. Really, what did you expect? Maybe you don't really know about Pixels that much, but at the same time, like, it's in the name, right? Pixel, so that's what makes the Pixels the camera. How many times am I gonna say that every time I do a video on a Pixel phone? No, but it's true, though. Like, that's just really the whole thing about the Pixel is the camera. That's what it's all surrounded by. The pictures, the videos, all that's definitely decent. I mean, I feel like the video could be a little bit better, but at the same time, like, they got a lot better from what they were before. But I think it's the pictures that really make a Pixel. Like, that's where they really shine in. And you know what's crazy? I don't really feel like it's the phone. It's more like the software. Like, the hardware is cool, too, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's definitely the software, bro. Google just do whatever they little Google magic is, and whenever you take the picture, it's just like perfection, bro. So you only got the wide and the ultra wide. So you don't got the telephoto or nothing like that, or none of the other super far zoom where you can zoom into your ex window and make sure she ain't laid up with another dude or something like that. I don't know why I brought that up. I just came up in my head. But yeah, pictures and videos for the front and back camera, the night mode and all that, definitely decent for sure. It's just social media apps like Snap or something like that where it might get a little iffy. You know what I'm saying? IG definitely valid though for sure. I ain't got no issues with that. So now updates, it's slowed down. How the whole software thing with this. So I'm gonna tell y'all right from the jump, it did not slow down, I ain't got no issues with that. This thing is decent, bro. Like, I feel like this whole Google Tensor Chip stuff, like, it's definitely valid. Google did their thing with the Tensor Chip. Now, it's not entirely homemade by them, but at the same time, like, it's definitely valid up on here. The phone feels just as fast as it did when I first got it, maybe even faster, I don't really know. But as for the updates, what month are we on right now? We're on June, so let's look at the security updates since I know some of y'all concerned about that. Me personally, I don't give a f me personally, I don't look at my calendar and be like, oh, it's the first day of the month. Where's my Google security update at? But yeah, with Android, getting the Pixel is probably your best bet if you want to make sure that you're getting the updates as long as you can. So with that being said, the battery though. So the thing about the battery with the Pixel 6a, it get me through the day and then some. Now the charging speeds ain't really gonna say it's all that, but at the same time, the battery life definitely decent up on here and I don't think you're gonna have no issues with it. Now it's gonna depend where you get it from. If you get it used, like if they dragged it through the mud, then hell yeah, it's probably gonna be ran through. But at the same time, like, I don't really think it's gonna be an issue for you. I was gonna say a joke, but it's probably gonna get me canceled. So all right, next. My beef and the things that I'm feeling about the Pixel 6 a Let's just get into that. The first thing is gonna be the beef. What don't I like about it? The first thing, like I just said, the charging speeds, it just really ain't all that. And that's just really been a thing of Google overall, like just since they made Pixel, like the charging speeds really ain't even been all that. It don't matter what fast charger I use, it's just like the charging speeds on the pixels just really <laughs> ain't that fast. And then it's slow as something like an iPhone, like I was just talking about this, I was just doing my video on it, but at the same time, like it just ain't that fast. I'm spoiled by my Galaxy super fast charging, that's probably what it is, but at the same time, like y'all need to get on your game with it. Next is no wireless charging. So if you want wireless charging, I guess you would just get a Pixel 7a then, so you don't have to deal with the red-headed step child. But yeah, no wireless charging, and that's all I do is wireless charge my phone. So the fact that I don't got it on here just kind of just bugged me. Next thing is, this thing scratches, and I mean like hella scratches. So this thing's good, but I had a Pixel 6a before this, and that thing got nothing but scratches. Like this thing would literally scratch if I looked at it wrong, like that's wild as fuck, bro. Next thing I don't like is we don't got no telephoto or no super far zoom or like that, so I mean like it ain't that bad at the end of the day, cause how Google does their pictures and with the algorithm and all that, like it actually looks alright. Next is we don't got no face and lock up on here, which again, like if you don't want to deal with the red-headed stepchild, you can get the Pixel 7 Nate, like that got face and lock up on it. And another thing I like about this is that this thing don't get nothing but fingerprints. Like, this thing is just a fingerprint magnet. So that's one of the reasons why I actually keep a case up on here. So this is actually a case right here by Caseology. So I appreciate y'all for actually sending this out to me because I definitely needed this because this thing ain't going to get nothing but fingerprints anyway. But yeah, this thing bad with fingerprints. But yeah, now I want to get into some of the likes about it. So this actually used to be a negative because they didn't have it before, but now they added this. So we actually got the magic eraser on here now. So I'm telling y'all, the magic eraser is clutch. Now check this out real quick. I'm going to go ahead and click on erase all. I got this picture right here with the wires and all that in the street lights. So let me go ahead and click on erase all. 
Look at that, bro. Like, that's crazy. That's innovative right there. Like, tell me, who's on Google's level with that right now? Nobody. I'm not even overhyping this right now. Like, Google actually sent this phone out to me for free last year, but that's just, that, that's cool. Another thing I like about it is the fingerprint. So when I actually go ahead and lock this, the fingerprint's in the screen, by the way, but when I go in to lock it, it's no issues. It just unlocks 99% of the time or something like that. So big ups to Google for that. Next thing I like is water resistance up on here. So we got IP67, I think. Yeah, I think it's IP67. Let me check it out real quick. So yeah, we got IP67 water resistance up on here, which means basically you're not gonna have no issues if you go ahead and bring this in the shower or something like that, or if you drop it in water, like you're gonna be good but for 450 bucks water resistance is not cheap so that's pretty dope that we got it up on here another thing i'm feeling about this is the aspect ratio so when i pick this thing up this thing is perfect for me for sure for sure just the way that this thing fits in my hand bro wait hold up pause but when i pick this thing up and i hold it this thing feel damn near perfect to me like for real for real and then we got the vibration on here so this thing feels so tight <laughs> wait hold up that's what she said right <laughs> shit i hope no nah, but for real though the vibration on here is definitely decent like when you actually hold it, it don't feel cheaper than nothing like that like it actually feel like a good quality vibration on here so with that being said can i recommend the red-headed stepchild in 2023 like do it still get the jenny step of approval i still love the red-headed stepchild so yeah i still do recommend it hell yeah get this thing man if you can find this for a decent enough price i think it's going for like 100 bucks off right now but yeah that's a good price if you can find that like 350 or something like that right now and the cheaper the better obviously like i feel like if you need those things in the pixel 7a like you need like the face unlock and all that then get that if you need the wireless charging and all that then get the pixel 7a but if you don't need all that just get the 6 a red-headed stepchild probably gonna do everything you need and more so you good on this but with that being said yo i got to go get about here because when i was ending this video the battery died on me so i got like what 10 percent, probably eight percent or something like that up on here i gotta go and charge my camera and then get up out of here but yeah anyway appreciate the support man y'all always coming through for me thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really like to go and subscribe but go and follow me on my social media eddie sentek and instagram and twitter and facebook but instagram and twitter is the most active and i don't know if y'all can hear it, bro but after doing videos for so long today like my voice starting to get low rough but appreciate y'all for coming through i'm gonna get up with y'all later man